so we've always kept our channel super positive, super uplifting, and um, and real all at the same time. But and you know we do have real life that goes on here too. And over the years, you know we are easy targets for sure uh, because we live out loud and we live um, very much a loud life is I guess the way to describe it. But, um, you know, I found that it doesn't matter what the arena, there's always going to be the critics or there's always going to be people that just don't like you. You know, there's a study that says there's so many people that just flat out don't like you no matter what. It doesn't matter what you do, no matter how good you are to them, around them, they just are not going to like you, period. Then there's a group of people that will like you, but they can be talked out of not liking you. I don't know if y'all know about this. And so you've always got a group of people in your sphere it, that you're influencing that they like you. They think, oh, yeah, she's got good thoughts. He's got good thoughts. But they can be talked out of not liking you. And then there's a group of people that just flat out love you, like you, no matter what and they're loyal, that they're not going to be talked out of knowing that you, you are a good person. And so you've always got all these different people that you're going to be influencing. I mean, no matter how big or how small, this could just be in your little town. And so it's important to know that, that you're always going to have people, no matter what, that just don't like you. And I had to come to terms with that because I'm a people pleaser and it may sound fake. It may sound not true, but I genuinely do love all people. I don't have a certain kind of person I like. I don't have, I can only be friends. I love people and until they actually hurt me over and over, I'll even let them hurt me for a real long time and keep giving them the benefit of the doubt until I'll finally say, okay, enough is enough. And, um, so I think it took me a long time to come to grips that I can't make people like me or like my family. And Shay really helped me with that. So that being said, I think when there's just people that don't know me that just form an opinion about me or just form an opinion about our family based on some limited knowledge, it doesn't matter what we do. They're just not going to like us. That's hard for me. And so that's something I've really, throughout these years I've worked on, I've gotten a lot, lot better. But that being said, when people choose to hide behind a computer and attack you, I don't, I, I don't understand it. And I don't, I personally would not be able to sleep at night with if I did something like that to anyone and or if I even went and wrote bad things about a person wanting other people to see it like I just don't understand it I don't and so and um, throughout the years we've we've dealt with this and we've had people we loved that have gone into that category that could be talked out of a lack in us or you know decide they don't and there, we couldn't have left them anymore. We couldn't have done anymore for those people. And I think if you know where your heart is and you know that you're going to act with not your best interest at heart, but the other person's best interest at heart is you can always feel good about the circumstances, even when something ends, because sometimes friendships need to end. But when you just have people that, um, just want to go to the internet and spew something mean or ugly or judgmental or, um, I mean, I just call it flat out evil. That's even a step further that I can't even understand. Um, you know, we don't really like to talk a lot of negativity on our vlog and, um, we're not negative people. So we handle negativity in a whole different way than probably a lot of the world. And that's one reason I do feel like our book can be so instrumental for people. I've 
found that we raise kids different than a lot of people, how we handle situations with them, um, how we go through ups and downs with them and our approach, I feel like works. We have two very amazing adult children and also um, kids that are good, that are young. And when I'm around other people's children, sometimes I am taken back. And it does cause me, and not that they're horrible or something, but I just see the difference. And so, not that we're perfect or we've got the best kids in the world. We have to discipline constantly, <laughs> constantly. But um, I do see there's a difference and a, a, and a big difference. So, that's part of the content for our book as well. But this vlog is actually just about... Um, Thinking about how we speak to others, how we treat others, and what we say, even when we're typing it, matters. And how we treat other people matters. Now, here's what got me going where I am going to share with you some things that have happened to us. And in a, and from a perspective of you can make a positive out of a negative if you choose to. So I've always taken bad things that happen and I want to learn from them and learn what I never want to do. And I've mishandled so many situations that I can go, I never want to do that again. And then um, figure it out later. So this vlog is really um, to share, not for you to feel sorry for us. But so people have awareness and with us raising kids, this day and time, I think, Shay's pulling up, hang on. Okay, y'all, so Shay pulled up, but anyway. So, thinking about this subject of social media can be amazing. I love to cheer people on. I love to see successes. I love to see kids first day of schools and parents are proud. Or I just love that. I love being for other people. Like, I love it. It inspires me. It inspires me to see other people just excited for other people or excited for their own success and wanting to share it and I just think it's such a positive place for those things, but it's, and the internet in general can be a great, great place, but then just like anything in our world, it can be a very dark, evil, negative place, especially for hurting people, unhappy people, and people that um, just want to bring other people down or want other people to feel bad. And, um, or even just don't like a person, you know, if they've got a, what I've seen too, if they have a personality conflict or, um, they have a disagreement, they choose to go to social media and it's just the worst place for conflict resolution. Absolutely. And so I just want to share uh, just a tad bit again, I don't want people feeling sorry for us, but just how we've just a couple of scenarios, and I'm not going to give big details, but things we've gone through and just kind of the best ways to deal with it. And I am going to start with the most recent situation that happened um, this month is I was getting these messages and, um, you know, they're mean, but that's the only thing I can say. I, just in layman's terms, <laughs> that's how I speak. It's just... It's me, and um, it really takes me back because I cannot imagine being mean. And then it was from fake accounts. They make these fake accounts, which I'm thinking, gosh, why on earth would anyone go to these kinds of links to want to say something ugly to someone? But they do. And then to take it a step further when... I got just a little uneasy was threatening, threatening messages. And you do this or I'll do this. And, you know, I've just never, 
And I just even hate to use the word bully because I don't even feel like it's bully. I feel like it's a manipulation. People try to manipulate you. And I just, I don't want to answer. I'm not going to change for critics. You know, there was a story I read a long time ago about, I don't even really know exactly how it goes, so I'm going to botch it. But there was a man, an old man with a donkey and he was riding on the donkey and his son, his young son was walking beside and there were people watching and talking bad about him because he was riding the donkey and making his son walk. So he got off the donkey and he put the son on the donkey. Well, then there were other critics that were saying, oh my goodness, I cannot believe that man, that little boy would let his old man father walk while he rides that donkey when he's perfectly capable to walk. And so then um, there was the last scenario where they were doing something with the donkey and people were worried about the donkey. I can't even remember how the story goes, but oh my gosh, y'all, you're so going to laugh. I just thought of the last scenario of the donkey. So after the old man heard everyone criticizing him, he thought, you know what, we'll just both ride the donkey. So they both got on the donkey and rode the donkey. Then everyone was like, oh my gosh, that poor donkey is carrying around two people. Can you believe? So the moral of the story is there's not a perfect way to be because somebody is always going to think you're not good enough, going to think that you're doing it wrong. So you know what? Just be you. Just be you. Sorry, guys. But it's like you're never going to make people happy. You're never going to, everybody is never going to like you. I'm chill with that. I'm okay with that. But I think what we have to be aware of is educating our children. Because what Shay and I were having a conversation about is the fact our kids are growing up in this world the way it is now. Where... There's always been mean girls. There's always been manipulation. There's always been little groups of people that talk about other people and stir things up. I mean, that's gone on since the beginning of time. And But now what's so scary is they take to social media and they group together against certain people on social media. And or create a website or whatever it is they do. I don't even know. I choose to not go look. But they do these things and they ban where it used to just be you felt uncomfortable as a kid when you walked into school and that little group was talking about you and making you not feel less than or insecure, whatever it was. And I understand. We, do, we don't have to allow people to make us feel that way. That may be a poor choice of words that you would feel this way because people would group. But now they're grouping on social media. They do it on Facebook. They make a positive slash underlying line meaning post and then get all the groups of people that know exactly what they're talking about that's really bad about a person, whether it be in high school or junior high. I watch this or even adults, adults do this. And start commenting, oh, I know, I'm so glad you're out of that, or blah, blah, you know, just on and on and on and on and on. About that's bad and negative, but because people can manipulate what they're doing with it, people don't always even realize what it is they're talking about. But the group of them that are grouping together and do it, know exactly what they're doing. And I don't know if I'm even making any sense or you know what I'm talking about, but it happens every day. It happens every day. And I think what is so disheartening is we either see it and don't know, or our kids are in positions where they are basically seeing this happen and what it's doing is it's desensitizing them. So maybe it's not happening to them, but it's happening around them 
And so what happens is they are extremely desensitized to um, the process of mean girls or mean boys or whatever it is because it's happening on a social media forum, if that makes sense. So that's what is so frightening to me is the hate is so big and so out there on Twitter, on whatever the social media platform may be. And how do we educate our kids that it's not okay? I know we do. And I have always been very on top of, you better not dare like that. You better not dare retweet that. And I'm monitoring that. But what I've realized is because there's a lot of adults that partake in it, a lot of children are not being taught. And so it is, it really is a problem. And what I personally see that it will continue to be a problem if some people don't kind of stand up and say, hey, this isn't cool, this isn't nice, that we need to get to the root of the problem. And I really even think even trigger words that people use that are just hate. It's something's got to, something's got to give because whether it be under a famous person's post or a kid at school's post, whoever it is, people feel that it is okay to go on someone's public social media and say mean things or go on to private message them and say really, really awful things or even take it a step further, send it in the mail, which has happened to us, or email or through websites. I mean, it's just, and here's what is always so interesting to me, y'all. They always do it anonymously. They send the letters. They're never, they're never brave enough to sign it. They, it, they never, which, oh, I can tell you there are ways to find out who these people are, which we have, but they, they never, they never put their, stamp their name on it. And that part is even more concerning that it's people sitting sometimes at church and portraying something but then sending hate on the internet or in your mailbox and you would have no idea and that's what's so scary to me of the big picture of the world for our kids that they're around other kids whose parents are okay with this because they're personally doing it or they're personally engaging in the conversation via social media or privately or on the websites of the hate, whatever it is. So, that's, that's where my heart is with this is I just don't think it's ever okay to be mean to people at any cost, even if they're mean to you. I mean, I, I've had people be very mean and, you know, don't get me wrong. It's not that I've never misreacted or I've never, you know, reacted to a circumstance in a negative way or a wrong way. But I just think um, that awareness will make such a big difference in teaching our children the awareness of it's not okay to go like mean things on Twitter or mean things on Facebook or and when you know there's an underlying message you definitely don't like it and you know just being cautious when people are doing things like that that will make a huge 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 difference and let me say this too with not knowing is I protect my mind space from any kind of ugliness that goes on by just not not knowing unless it's for my safety. Now, with the most recent situation, it was coming directly at me. 
so I had to deal with it and I had to address it and as I would delete and block the person would make another fake insta or whatever and send me another one so after like the fifth time I had to say something I'm like okay people I'm not gonna be passive I don't want to give you attention but I am NOT gonna sit back and let somebody keep on and on and on like I've kindly said it's okay if you don't like me it's okay if you don't want to follow me you know it's fine uh, but when I wouldn't do what they wanted me to do the threats were more and more so here is the thing here is the thing protect your mind space don't go look at it don't let other people tell you about it stop them dead in their tracks and when somebody directly comes and is attacking you head on you do have to put your armor on and you do have to hit straight back head on I believe because the attacks are never gonna stop if people think that they can just do whatever they want and they can get away with it and not that I'm ugly back in any way but I am going to say please please stop messaging me please stop following me please stop making fake accounts I'm asking you very nicely and of course I'm gonna turn it in but um, yeah it's a crazy world y'all but we hope y'all are loving our channel we hope that you want to keep watching us if you do please share share us with your friends tell um, people about our channel tell them to run over and subscribe so they can see we post three times a week and um, I just believe that there are good people and I believe for every negative you know mean person there's 20 great awesome loving people that are fighting the good fight of faith you know it's just the the evil people are loud and so I just think we've got to scream God's praise we've got to scream God's goodness we've got to stay in community with people that don't want to be ugly to one another and want to champion one another and our four people's marriages our four kids being successful not just their kids but all kids our four families staying together I mean that's what we're about and if that's not somebody watching that's okay they don't need to watch but you know let's just fight the good fight together that's what I feel so I hope y'all are having an awesome day I know I am and I do, we just appreciate all the love all the support everything we've gotten from each and every one of you C6 fam and uh, you know let's just pass this on pass on it's never okay to be ugly if you're having to make a fake account to say something to somebody that probably might not want to do that if you are brazen enough to say something ugly to someone publicly you might want to hit your knees and just say you know what's stirred up inside of me that's causing me to react like this or causing me to treat someone in this manner you know if I have a conflict with someone I just talk to them I address them personally it's like why do people want to go to a social media forum to um, get a group of people to then go lynch that person and that's what I see with kids and even adults but I just think it's not okay and let's just be our best every single day and um, you know keep on I think if enough people can say I'm gonna show love I'm gonna show mercy I may not agree with everything they say. I may not even like everything they do. But you know what? It's their life. It's my life. They may not agree with everything I say. So I'm friends with every type of person. I don't put anybody in my box. But I appreciate and value their opinions. And I just, I choose if you're mean, don't follow me. If you're mean, you know, let's, I, I definitely want to pray for you. But I think it's just figuring out what's stirring that up inside of you that causes you to want to do that to other people. It's a real deal, y'all. I, I just, so many articles, such and such is getting lashed by the way she looks after she had a baby. Or, you know, I'm just like, what? What is wrong with people? Y'all, just don't be ugly. Let everybody just walk out their walk. We don't have to tell them. 
every thought that pops into your brain that you may not like the way they look, the way they act, whatever. I don't know. Anyway, these are my thoughts. Love y'all.